Why is you two being so dumb? All right, so uh, in the odd chance any of you guys are watching this offline, this is probably quite literally just going to be, uh, we're just gonna be doing the event. So I don't know how long that's gonna take, I'm assuming maybe even just half an hour and then we'll be done. Uh, most of all because I need to get screenshots and footage and stuff so I can rush out the tutorial on the event today. I just didn't get the chance of playing yesterday, so. But YouTube is being dumb and I don't know why. I mean, I guess I can take care of this after, but I've never seen this before. Where it, like, I go to my merch tab and it just says there's nothing there. And it's just, I don't know, it's being dumb. Anyways, who cares? Okay, um. I need a screenshot of Talk to the Undead Envoy. Uh, there's also a new pack in the store too. Where the heck is it? There it is. Get a couple screenies of this. Let's see what this idiot wants us to do. Um... Okay, defeat enemies in cursed veiled tombs. Okay. Those invaded fey areas, you can help. In the cursed veil, there are tombs filled with an army of fey. Okay, so it's just, that's kind of interesting, I guess. <laughs> I like how we're helping uh, the undead. I already have a uh, mod pack link type thing uh, in other videos. I don't know if I, I think it's in the description of this video. It should be in the description of everything. I could be wrong about that. All right, where are these idiots now? I'm assuming the dungeon like drastically looks different. Like it's like a Fey dungeon and cursed, right? Fey invaded our lands. In the cursed veil, there are tombs filled with an army of Fey. Please go knock some skulls. Help us undead. Before we're dead undead. Oh, okay. Kind of cringy and weird, but whatever. <laughs> so this is an odd chance where the mini-map actually doesn't help us at all. I mean, I guess I could just go into a dungeon, period. Because I'm not seeing anything. Unless this is one of those instances where it just can't be in such an early uber world. Which is a possibility. What do we end up getting out of this event, you guys? I'm assuming it's just like a mount or an ally or something. And then probably like some daily login crap. They are tombs, not dungeons. Oh, okay. So they're down on the ground. That's why I'm not spotting them. Like these? Just the normal tomb dungeons? Unless it's... I, I mean, I'm assuming it's something special that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, okay. Um, shut up, Jub Jub, or Budge Budge. What are you, I don't know why she's like freaking out right now. Different kind of biome, excuse me? Oh, I see it. Yeah, what the heck? That's so weird. What? <laughs> so we actually got like, Dude, so you're telling me that they ended up giving us a new biome generation, even if only, like, slightly different, for an event? Do I just gotta kill the enemies in general? Good lord, why are they so strong? Are they just... Okay, so it is just the enemies themselves. Why are they so powerful? What's going on? Is there some trick that I'm supposed to do? Oh, I see. We're only doing one damage per hit. So it's one of these where it would actually be more beneficial. Normal cursed enemy, whatever. It'd be more beneficial to use like Draco or Tomb Razor or something. So I could do consistently faster damage. Cool, I guess. I like how there's just undead enemies here because they can't figure out how to set it up. <laughs> Um, get out of here, normal enemies. Normies. We need one more. There we go. They kind of just spawn in groups, huh? 
Oh, sorry, I got morning congestion, guys. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> Token of the undead. Yeah, there you go. So that's the time gated item. Talk to the Fey Prince. I'm assuming he's in the hub as well. <clears throat> also, hi, guys. Do you think Velerin could be a better game than Cube World someday? Yeah, if they keep developing it. I mean, the fact that it's already kind of more of an MMO than Cube World is. Um, let you know the very angry Fey Prince here. Swing by the hub. Okay, so he's just chilling down here. No, he's not. He is on top of the giant mushroom. Oh. Ugh. Look at this freak. Jeez Louise. I am the king and nobody likes me. All right, let me get... Uh... Here, you guys get to see some behind the scenes of getting things for thumbnails and such. Not that I'll... I probably won't use this idiot in the thumbnail just because he kind of looks stupid, but... Boop. Tavantes. No, I know. That game is super slow development, Thieves. You right. The Undead made uh, uh, remove spooky skeletons from my lands. Okay, so literally just the same thing, but now from Faye. <clears throat> oh, good lord. I'm sad with what happened in Cube World. I mean, I guess. It's, it's fine. There we go. We get to kind of see... Yeah, it's weird how it's like different biomes. And then the normal game just doesn't give us new biome generation. Like, okay. <clears throat> oh, is there costumes from the event? Sweet. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Yeah, I I completely spaced and forgot that because it's a new Trove event, it means it's stupid time-gated tokens, and I didn't get my tokens yesterday. Crap. Oh, well. Just means I'm a day behind everybody, basically. That kind of sucks. Well, here's a couple of them chilling in this weird cave yeah using a bard is kind of a mistake for these guys but it's like whatever um oops uh where is it where is it where is it oh there's twitch drop costumes really huh hee hee Oh, okay, so the dungeons, thanks, Wes. Yeah, so they generate basically the same as how most of the event enemies generate, where it's just straight lines from one another. I mean, it's not like this looks bad or anything. Like, I still do wish that we had, like, more variants in our generation. Like, this would be pretty cool. Defeat invaders. Oh, good lord, really? I'm still not sure why it's fine. It seems they're getting more invasion. Uh, look for invaders in the adventure worlds and smash them. What's the trick to completing that again? There, there was a trick to doing that in one of the other events, but maybe I'm mixing that up. Oh god, that sucks. Go to the Everdark? Oh, so it just counts as invaders in general. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I knew there was a trick to it. Good. <laughs> oh good lord hmm. is it just random enemies here because I think they count as invaders right or do I have to do it just from like the dungeons themselves there's normal enemies in the world is there no normal enemies in the world I thought there was but I guess not Oh, good lord. Stupid congestion. Wait, what are you... Okay, Wes, now you're getting confusing to me, bud. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll find the dungeons. I guess I gotta just do it from the Everdark dungeons themselves. Oh, well. Um... 
best subclass for Draco? I, I don't know. It depends what you want to use it for, dude. I always just use Knight for pretty much everything just because uh, it means that you're going to end up getting the uh, extra flash and extra movement speed. But if you're just going for like damage and stuff, I don't know. Lancer, I guess. We you. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that these guys counted as invaders. I knew that there was like another area that they did, but I didn't know every single one of these guys counted. That's kind of interesting. So thanks for that tip, guys. <clears throat> Hello, where's the other one? I think we won. Oh, there it is. Blah. I like how they bothered putting like these uh, things where you can craft the keys, but they didn't bother putting multiple entrances to these dungeons. Like, okay. Sweet. White Fey bosses and Cursed Veil tombs. Okay. <clears throat> How do I get the Tomb Digger mount? Uh, well, if it's either the one from the event or it's, uh, I, I just don't know yet. Or there's these mounts from, you know, here. That's not Tomb Digger. No. Okay. Uh, unless it's just a random drop mount, which could be the case. Oh, we're actually already in the biome, kind of. Okay. Does this count? I think it does. Ah. Oh, good lord. What the heck are these things? Can I blow it up? Whoa. That's a weird prop item, dude. Minecraft caves update? Oh, this is what you meant when you were talking about the different uh, generation, Wes. Okay. Jesus. Is there any dropped mounts? Or is it literally just stuff gotten from tokens? Like, is there any rare drops out of all, any of this stuff? Good lord, what is this place? Oh, I don't need those guys. Ah! Kind of cool that we got all these extra props and stuff. Like, this is kind of neat, actually. Huh. Like, it seems kind of stupid at the same time, but I kind of like it. Not gonna lie, dude. Tomb Digger mount can drop. Huh. Cool. Oh, okay. So this is what you meant by it kind of being like a maze and the boss is spawning in specific holes. Um. Mount to end allies drop. Oh, goody. I can't wait to farm this for like 500 years. Okay, so this is just throughout the entire biome then. Huh. That's kind of neat. Is the boss always in like specific spots? Like, does this count as a boss? I don't think it does. These enemies are really annoying with how powerful they are. Well, that didn't work. Oh, this laggy mess of a game. Seriously, dude. Okay, what was the explanation that you gave earlier, Wes? Um, for, like, where the bosses actually end up spawning? Don't just go for the boss. They have similar drop rates to normal enemies. Well, right now I'm just trying to get the objective done. That's why I'm going for the boss. But, okay. So, we need to just kill these normal enemies, which means... Boop. Tomb Razor. Actually, Draco would probably be better. But, whatever. Go, my children, go. I gotta put better gems on this guy. Oh, good lord. I, you know what? It doesn't help with how bad the lag is. This is stupid, dude. I thought it was cool at first, but the fact that I've gone this far and I haven't found another boss because other people have probably killed it. And it's just a laggy mess. Like, I didn't need this in my life, devs. 
I didn't need to farm like a hundred of these idiots. There you are. I found one. I found one. Bosses seem random. Oh, okay. Uh, lower the better, so I find the best work in a... Oh, okay. I thought you were saying that there was, like, an actual, like, legit pattern to them, but... Okay. That was my misunderstanding. So, yeah, just go in crazy circles all over the place. Whoop. Gonna install Windows 11? Probably. Uh, whenever it actually, like, legit comes out and is actually, like, stable and not a mess. Because it's got some perks in it that I do like. Good lord. I wonder if you could just, like, glitch, look through the walls. That would probably be, like, really helpful in this. <laughs> like getting chunk errors or something. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, fine. I'll fight the babies too. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess you could just blast your way through the floors up and down because it seems like it's just set generation. Not as cool as I thought it was initially. But I guess there is a point to actually farming these normal enemies if they all drop stuff. There you are, you idiot. It's not bad. It's not great. I guess I can't complain because it has nothing to do with elves, even though it's kind of caves. What's the mount? I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. Still just kind of trying to get the main event piece done. Oh, great. I already did that. Go, my children. Go. Destroy. Bah. I see. That's why the biome generation looks so weird. Okay. Ah, yes. Wes is saying hello, Sophie. I'm grinding Bard at the moment. Ah, sweet. Yeah, that's right. You guys actually finally got Bard, which is awesome. I haven't played this game in over a year, and Gunslinger and Shadowhunter still the best for dungeons? Well, okay. Are you sure you didn't play this game in over a year or never played it? Because Shadowhunter was never the best for the dungeons, dude. What are you talking about? Neither was Gunslinger. Like, never. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a dick, but... <laughs> Bruh. Die, Faye children. Die. Oh, the mount that I'm using? I don't know. It's just one of the spider mounts. Where is my last? There you are. I found him. I found him. What wings? Which wings? On this guy? I don't think I have wings on this guy. I'm assuming you meant from earlier, which is the uh, Dark Pegasus wings. Find buried treasure in the tombs. Oh, God. What? What? Buried chests from the feud last year, scattered throughout the tombs of both sides. Why don't you go searching for them? What? I never saw a chest in any of these locations. What? A, what? Yeah, no, I don't want to. Do I legit have to like dig for them like by blasting my way through the walls? Or are they just around here randomly and I just never saw one? It's a random thing that looks like a dirt pile. Okay. That's so weird. Everything kind of looks like a dirt pile. <laughs> oh, the skull with it. Okay, okay. I kind of like these prop items. Like, these are kind of neat. Okay, so I didn't notice it just because it was a random prop. Skull with a crossbone. Good. 
good lord why did they have to have us like do rng stuff for this quest i mean i guess i'll join you brah did you find one oh okay wait did, 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 did. i need a screenshot thanks buddy they got buried treasure would you like to okay that's it what does that give me you have a new item to claim oh so it doesn't give you anything it's just part of the event okay fight ended bosses in the fey forest by tombs okay let's do the same thing again <laughs> why <laughs> treasure is once per day for each biome oh because it gives you a token right yeah okay that's kind of dumb but whatever what do we get out of this tokens well i mean i guess they're giving us quite a few of these tomes buried treasure decoration box oh you have no inventory space excuse me but yes i do what oh god no i don't get rid of that get out of my inventory oh that's a target dummy what place one cornerstone world only. if it actually shows damage number representation then that would be pretty neat but i doubt it does okay um there we go that's pretty cool actually what's the event about i don't know you're watching it it's uh it says it's like undead versus fey for whatever reason i don't know Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not catching every one of your guys' comments, but as you can guess, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit busy here. So, the allies and mounts that end up dropping, are those, uh, independent based on the enemy type? Like, can I only get a certain ally slash mount off the undead guys and then a different set off of the fey enemies? Or is it just unanimous? These caves are a little bit cooler than the other ones, frankly speaking. Look at this dude. I kind of like him. He looks kind of stupid, and I like it. Blah. The mount is from both, and the allies are from one each. Okay, that's kind of what I expected, but thank you for confirming. <clears throat> All of this will be useful for the tutorial I'll put out after I'm done with the event. Are they tradable? Because that would be kind of nice. Let me actually see. Um, Travel, mounts, hide, collect... Oh, gotta put the map away. Hide, collected. Uh, event, there we go. What the heck are all of these? Well, there's the tomb digger. That's tradable. For two mil? What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, at least it's tradable, but good lord. Are you serious? All right, what about the allies then? Uh, Chippy and... I would assume it's Chippy and Lorenzo or whatever. The ally's cheap enough, thank God. Lorenzo. What about this pigeon? I don't even know where this pigeon came from. This was, like, from some other event that, like, came and went, and I just didn't end up getting it for whatever reason. I am not spending that much on 10 Mastery. Thank you very much. Well, that's kind of neat that they're tradable, though. I'm going to grab them anyway. And I'll probably end up buying the mount at some point. I just don't know. Uh, just don't know what its price is going to be because two mil is way too steep. I mean, it's good for people that are farming the event. That's for darn sure. Oh, good Lord. Where is the boss? Also, why is there like acid rain? These caves are kind of interesting, but kind of not at the same time. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually pretty old news about Twitch Siege. That was happening a while back. Yoink. Well, I was lucky. 
But yes, uh, short answer, Twitch sucks. Good lord. Oh god, there's so many like items and video effects and stuff. It's like, jeez louise. They're suing everyone who raids? I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. That sounds like bullcrap to me. That's, that sounds like a Genshin Impact thing to do, am I right? <laughs> the funny thing is, like, Twitch, as far as, they're, like, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know why Twitch is acting like it's a big deal. Like, Twitch users, I get. But when there was, uh, like, you, you often see it on, like, Twitter about, like, all the people on Twitch, like, complaining and whining about stuff, right? And it's like, oh, take a day off of Twitch. And it's like, dude, Twitch itself, like usually doesn't make a profit based on the fact that their servers are so expensive with the amount of people that they have on it so when people take a break from twitch twitch basically is still collecting daily subscription prices from everybody and so twitch just made like a crap it was like the first time twitch ever ended up making a profit off of their subs because everybody took a break from Twitch and so Twitch could just claim all of the money because nobody was on their servers and everyone is sitting there like boycott Twitch, boycott Twitch, like good God. Twitch users are like some of the dumbest ever. There's like all the cancel culture is all around it all and it's just, yeah, hilarious. Ooh, hello weird rock guy. I like how we can see his rib cage, like okay. The characters have bones in Trove. This is lore friendly. <sighs> Anyways, I don't mean to ramble about that. I just thought that it was hilarious. Anytime someone in this day and age tries to have like, uh, you know, it's like they're trying to have a cause. <laughs> Anything that tries to have a cause that's related to like Twitch or gaming and stuff is like always the stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when does the event end let's take a peek uh 27 so two weeks so we got plenty of time the funny thing is we got uh what is it so we got on the 20th which i think is next week we got diablo 2 remake uh we still have the possibility of uh battlefield beta this month as well i guess i'll just keep killing these normal enemies like i could get this quest done like really really quick but I mean, I say that, but the boss is, like, so random. It's like, can I really? Bossy, where are you? Yeah, Battlefield did promise a beta, but for some weird reason, they, like, didn't actually give us a date. It was weird. And now, isn't there, like, the Call of Duty beta is, like, this month or something? I don't know. Oh, there's our last idiot. Look at this dude. Look at his beard. How can a skeleton have such a gigantic beard? It must be fake. Die. All right, we won. And now go back to the hub. Craft Tomes Terraformer. What? Okay. So we actually get these as a biome? What? The spider costume, Nate? No, this is not a modded costume. This was in one of the packs that I don't think is in anymore. Do we got these guys all summoned? No, we do not. And then someone didn't claim our cubits for the day. Blah. You know what, Turipus? I'm just going to call you Papyrus because that's what your name always makes me think of immediately. I think you'll be happy with that because who doesn't like Undertale? Me. Don't get me wrong. I loved the characters and stuff. I don't want to open those boxes yet. Undead Tomes Terraformer. Wait. So I have to craft one, but not necessarily use one. Um, I wonder what the biome actually looks like. It probably looks terrible. Wait, where do they want us to craft it? Because apparently it's not here. A crafting cauldron. 
And the prince is crafting hookah. Excuse me? That should not be in Trove. <laughs> is this game rated M for drugs? Like, what? Devs. All right, where's your crafting table, you idiots? There it is. Oh, good lord. Ugh. Oh, look, the tomb digger has, like, its own specific, like, spot to craft it. Okay. So you can craft it and then sell it, I guess? Or is the dropped version the tradable version? Is, is there even a dropped version of it? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the allies. Okay, so we got this thing. A banner. A target dummy prop. Chippy. Refurbished valor various armor. Oh, okay. We actually get a costume. Sweet. Who's that for? Oh, it's for the knight. You know what? I had a suspicion. Because that's what this NPC looks like. He looks like the knight. So if that's what the costume is, that's pretty dope. And then a decoration treasure box. I don't care about that. So they're forcing me to use my tokens, which kind of sucks. Upgrade a gem. Oh, okay. That's just... That's it? We're done? Bay target dummy. That's it? Are you serious? <laughs> We're already finished? Really? Oh, good lord. My crafting inventory. Ugh. All right. Oh, wait, someone put down target dummies. Wait, do we destroy them to end up getting stuff? Oh, well, I left already. Rip. Also, guys, the, the Faye is on sale. Did you see that? Look, the Faye is on sale. Oh, my God. Because everyone wants the Faye right now. There was a tomb digger for sale like one to two hours during the event. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's true. Because otherwise there wouldn't be that many in the shop just because the to tokens themselves are very time gated so yeah you're right what the heck is this thing by the way you can hit it as much as you want it won't mind okay so you can't kill it i kind of like this thing let me see place it down there you go boop oh my god you can actually use this to test damage that's so interesting cool it's not really the... That's so weird that it exists. Can I get it back? Okay, good. Cool, dude. I like that a lot. That's actually really dope. Sweet. Oh, we got a new trophy as well for one of the new bosses. Cool, I guess. Oh, God. Now I gotta put on my stupid... <sighs> I hate putting down trophies. Just really tedious. No. Eh. Okay, so that's one of the unique trophies right there, which, okay, cool, I guess. Um... Boop, 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 boop. Man, I got a lot of these. Place it down, please. Thank you. I'm left clicking. Thank you very much. Yeah, good. <clears throat> This is how much I farm, like, the geosurface. No. I mean, it doesn't help with how picky I am with placing all these where they have to all be on the wall. But, sorry guys, I know it's a bit tedious. Fog! Let's do it. Actually, wait a minute. I'm going to put it down here specifically because otherwise I'm going to forget where it is. Yeah. See, isn't it look cool? Oh man, so dope. I'm kidding, but at the same time, I really do genuinely like the fog. Oh, we got Faye one too. 
Oh, sweet. Dude, I like that. Kind of useless. Kind of a really, really stupid reward from the event, but whatever. Um, Marks of Honor and sometimes a special chest. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get, like, no items out of it. Yeah, no surprise there. So then there's the biomes. Um, I guess let's see if we can end up doing some daily stuff. Unless it counted already as I did them. Yes, no. Can't talk to him. Hurry up and let's get the show on the road, okay? I guess the I guess it counts as I already completed the daily stuff. Can't seem to talk to any of these guys. Oh god. Oh, and then there's Fae themed things too. Okay, so there's the ally. Oh, there's a new costume for the Fae as well. Oh, okay. That's what you guys were talking about. Are these tradable? Probably not. That would be pretty cool if they were. Let's see. Valorous Garb. No, it doesn't look like it. That would be kind of neat if they were, but whatever. Good lord, that's a lot of grinding then. And it's only daily, isn't it? Or can I continuously get tokens off the enemies? Or is it literally just tied to like log in, fight a few, go away? Either way, that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I was going to say these guys require separate tokens. So that kind of sucks. Yikes. Okay. So there's two different types of tokens. And this one is drained because they kind of forced me to do it. Okay, let's see. Um, doesn't say it doesn't say that it drops off enemies, but you guys are saying that it does. So I guess that's cool. It means we could farm it for like hours. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that uh, right now. I guess we can go and farm a few of them. Which costume would I prefer? Uh, so if we kill the enemies in the undead, it means we'll get fey tokens, right? And I don't really care about the fey costume that much. I want to see... I want to get some of these tokens off enemies. <clears throat> Let's take a peek. Um, So it's in the flux inventory? Yeah, it is. Okay, token of undead, which we've got 19. So let's see. There's a costume make your big skeleton look like a big zombie. Which which one? What are you talking about, Thiege? The costume was for the Knight and Fae, not Tomb Raider. Unless you mean this one, in which case it makes it look like a weird gross giant spider thing. Oh, that's the wrong biome. Uh, this way. <clears throat> what do you keep saying, Rocco? What? What can I do to get loads of flux at 18 KPR? You can't. What do you mean? I don't know. Go grind nitro. That's probably your best bet. I've already got flux farming tutorials. And frankly speaking, there's not really like super big changes from uh, that video to now. Um, there's most of all just stuff related to like Bardium might end up being good, but then you got to end up being, uh, being able to go to tier five caves, which I thought the screen was a slap in the face to the community. No, just a slap in the face to the devs. The community, I think, loves it because of the same reason I do. <laughs> Seriously, dude, you, you have not played Trove long enough if you haven't had at least one type of crash. Yeah, I kind of saw your comments, Rocco, but I was I was just, I'm busy with the event, dude. Like, come on. Give me some slack. How often do you actually get these tokens? I mean... Oh, we're actually getting a decent amount. Huh. So we're getting... That's kind of weird. So we're getting fey tokens off of these guys. So if we want the undead one... So it's related to the biome, not the enemies that you fight. Okay. 
Because <clears throat> otherwise that... I guess it's kind of like... Oh, it's a trophy, right? Mm, cool. Oh, good lord. Okay. I guess north? We'll fight a couple of the enemies, but like I said, like I want to... My priority is to try and get a uh, quick guide out today. And then you guys are kind of catching this stream early. Hello, game, please. Uh, and then the stream itself will either end up going public tomorrow or the next day because there's also the new pack that I have to review. I'm a little bit behind just because I've been busy with stuff. Most of all, sleep. I literally slept for like 12 hours. I feel so much more refreshed because otherwise I was exhausted. I, I pretty much stayed up like for 24 hours because I needed to turn my schedule around. I don't think this is... Okay, to the north more is the actual biome, so that's fine. Can you show the new pack? I mean, it's just right here. So you get three costumes by the looks of things, two allies, two car mounts. I'll, I'll have a proper, like, video review on them um, after. Not necessarily today, just because um, I have... Mariko's going to go and see her friend. I'm going to the dentist and then come back home and then probably spend maybe, uh, maybe I'll have enough time to stream and then uh, go and meet uh, Mariko at her friend's and then we end up, I don't know, chilling there and probably doing like a pizza party or something. So I, I'm just a little bit busy today. So, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do uh, too much content for you guys today. I mean, I've got some videos already ready to go, so don't worry. The top priority is I gotta get this troll video, and then otherwise I'll probably end up making the God of War stream public that I did the other day. Um, and then I have a Genshin video I gotta rush out that is uh, a guide on uh, Raiden Shogun. The new five-star character. Am I? I guess I'm not. I don't know why I'm thinking that I'm looking for like bosses and stuff because we're just looking for normal enemies at this point. Go, my children. Actually, do something. Kill. Oh, God. This cave generation is just the worst, dude. Like, good God. I guess it keeps bonking into walls because that dungeon is like right beside us, right? Um. What's the best way to level up classes? Uh, Bomber Royale's really good. Uh, another, oh my god. Generation. Okay, yeah, so we got a token. Okay, so I'll have to... Sorry, I'll finish, I'll finish that question before I talk about uh, my plans for this event, which I won't be able to finish this right now. Um, another really good thing that you can end up doing is these quests right here. You can do these once a day, but they'll end up giving you a lot of XP. Uh, and it gives you more XP the higher the Uber world. So what you can do is if you can handle U9 or something higher or whatever, at least U6 has all of the biomes. So you could go around there finding all of these dudes, get all their quests done. Uh, Geode Surface has one of the best quests to get you XP. Uh, but otherwise, there's also the um, the outposts that you can find in the Lun Lun Monopolis city. Bomber Royale is really good, but it's just so boring that I just never do it myself. What the heck is this portal doing here? Cursed Veil World. Ah, yes. Um, oh, there we go. What did we have to do? We had to, like, upgrade a gem or something? Bonk. Give me, give me item. Cool. Okay, I gotta remember to actually like log in on Trove every day and actually get this done. Anyways, the plan is going to be uh, I'm not gonna do this today because this, with the amount of tokens that we need, that's actually really tedious. It depends how many we end up actually getting from the NPCs per day versus how much we get when we're out farming. Because unfortunately, uh, that's probably going to end up being super duper tedious and taking like an absurd amount of time to end up doing like that would that would probably take like hours which kind of sucks 
Sorry, I'm just clearing my inventory up. So, I don't know. That would, yeah. So, I'll, I'll basically, like, what's going to happen is I'll kind of test it over the next coming days. Uh, and then maybe once I kind of have a better understanding of, okay, how long is it going to take based on the daily, based on blah, blah, blah. Um, before I end up actually committing to doing like a longer stream where we grind it out. Oh, there's one of the costumes right there. Oh, you got both of them? How? Oh my God, you freak. I wish I had that much time. Okay, and then <laughs> I love how they lazily always end up using the owl costume video effects on all the fey costumes because they acknowledge that it's the best VFX in the game. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Um, here, let me actually start recording some of it, Multi, and then you can go ahead and show it off. That's pretty cool, though. Here, can you show me the night one uh, again real quick, bud? I wasn't really paying attention. I want to see the VFX of it all. Sweet. Thanks, man. So that means I can actually show this off for the, uh, for the video. Ooh, that's actually, uh, that's a pretty cool one. That might be one of my favorite night costumes. That one's cool. That reminds me of the Neon Ninja costume that I made. The mod. And then, of course, the video effects are, like, not different at all. I mean, the ground pound is, but... Dude, show me the ult. It's gonna be so epic. It's gonna be like a red cube. Come on, bro. Do it. Just do it. Bruh. Alright, I guess the ult is just too intimidating. I like how you're using a permanent torch on your knight. Like, why? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot that's one of the allies, too. Oh, I mean, that's... I, I kind of like the color of that. But, who cares? Anyways, thanks for that one, dude. Sweet. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get, uh, I got to get the event video ready uh, where we're going to, you know, I'll have a video that's going to go out like maybe within the next 30 minutes, trying to rush it out, talking about the entirety of the event. So thank you guys so much for your tips and tricks and helping me out. Uh, I like getting, this is why I like doing these events during a stream, because it means that I can get info from you guys directly right away. Um, so I can end up sharing that in the video that everybody else will end up watching. Thanks for coming out, though, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll stream later if I can. No promises, though. Uh, but I do have some videos coming out uh, over the next few hours before I head out. Bye, guys.